MSTE Passport Series. Hello everyone, welcome back to my video tutorial. This is the La Cruz Engineering video tutorial. Okay, and in this video we will solve a passport problem from the Mathematics Surveying and Transportation Engineering. Okay, so this is the problem. This was on November November 2019. So the latest latest of the CE board. Okay. So, without further ado, let's start to solve this problem. Okay. So, this is the problem, no? CE board November twi 2019. So, immediately after a Mion volcano showed telltale sites of activities, the Feebox set up stations to monitor the volcano. Two stations were located at points A and B. So um, it is best na i interpret natin siya um, phrase by phrase. Okay? Let's start from this. Immediately though, we have a Mayon volcano. Okay? So the telltale, the Feebox set up two stations to monitor the volcano. So two stations were located at points A and B, seven kilometers apart yung points A and B. And they are on the same horizontal plane as the base of the volcano. Okay, they are in a, in a line down sa base of the volcano, and B is being closer to volcano. Okay, so if we were to draw that, uh, we stop here. Okay, this is the base of the volcano. So points A and B. Let's let's assume and dito yung A, and assuming dito yung B. Okay, so this is not scale drawing, ha? Huh? B can be anywhere here. So I just put it here na lang, okay? And they are 7 kilometers apart daw, yung A and B. Okay? It is stated here. Now, B is being closer from the volcano. The from A, the angle of elevation of the Mayon volcano from the top of the Mayon volcano is 8 degrees daw. Okay? So ito yon. Um the angle of elevation here is just 8 degrees to the top of the volcano. Okay? Next, at the height of the Mayon volcano, so at this point, from the volcano's crater, uh, this is the crater, the uh, subtended an angle of 64 degrees on each station. Ay, uh, by the way, andito pa tayo, no? At the height of the Mayon volcanoes, we're at the vertical smoke emitted. So we have a vertical smoke jan emitted from the volcano volcano's crater yun, this is the crater and it says that it subtended an angle of 64 degrees on each station A and B so ano yung ibig sabihin nito ito, ito yun ito yung height ng smoke diba? and from the crater to the height of the smoke it subtended an angle of 64 degrees daw from points A and B so from this A it subtends an angle of 64 degrees and it is the same on angle, I mean, on point B. This is 64 degrees down. Okay? So, take note, this is not a scale drawing, ha? It, it is not scaled. So, it, it won't matter naman in our answer. Okay? Makikita natin yan. And assuming the smoke and the two stations are on the same vertical plane, find the height of the smoke. Okay, so this is the interpretation of the problem lang. Okay, we don't need this anymore na. Okay, so let's assume that this height of the smoke is variable H and I will assume that the height of the mountain is H, capital H. Okay, so solving that. So, how will we start? Is this even possible na 64 degrees dito yung subtended angle and this is also 64 degrees okay that is only possible if these points a b this point of the volcano and the top of the smoke is on a periphery of the circle okay if that passes through the periphery of the circle or the perimeter of the circle that is possible na it will be the same subtended angle yung A and B natin. Okay? If that is a circle and we will project these points to the center of the circle, that will uh, that is the radius, okay? Projecting to the center of the circle. Now, 
look at this at this point we can create uh, I mean by the way now at this if this is 64 degrees okay let me go back if this is 64 degrees and this is the intercepted arc okay and this is also 64 degrees they have intercepted arc so one theorem of e of the circle is if this is theta the subtended angle here if that is theta this is two of theta okay that is theorem of the circle one of the theorem okay so we can use it here so this is just twice of 64 degrees okay and if we will draw a right triangle here take note that is a right triangle and that is aligned to this point okay this dimension here is just half of h okay and this angle here is just half of 128 or simply that is 64 degrees lang okay if i were to isolate that yun. so identifying the distances this is the radius this is half of h and this is 64 degrees okay so from this the uh, we have three given uh, so that uh, we can use uh, i mean we can create a relationships to the unknowns okay another right triangle here is can be formed to yun. okay so as you can see this is just half of seven kilometers okay this passes through the center okay from point a to point b is seven kilometers so this is half of the seven kilometers or 3.5 okay and this dimension here as you can see if we will project that to this point that is half of h and the capital h okay and we were to isolate that to yung r to yung 3.5 ito yung h plus half of h okay so as you can see we have um, actually three unknowns dito this r this um, small h and this capital h so we have to create another triangle here okay in order to form three equations so the last triangle here is andito okay that is a right triangle and this dimension here as you can see that is from if we will project this to this point that is 3.5 plus ano yung matitira, matitira dito that is as you can see this is this is just from here up to this point or that is just the cosine component of r okay this point to here to yung dimension niya dito so if i were to isolate this yun and this is the 8 degrees and this is the height of the volcano and this dimension here is just 3.5 plus r cosine of 64 okay so we have the triangles na three triangles so we can form a relationship between r small h and h okay this is one so referring to this first triangle here as you can see the r sine of 64 degrees is equals to this opposite of the angle or 0.5 of h okay that is just sine opposite over hypotenuse okay and expressing r into h that is 0.5563 of h okay that is just 0.5 divided by sine of 64 okay so referring from this second triangle the one um, we we don't have a angle here so we actually have the three dimensions so we can use the Pythagorean theorem okay that is r squared is equal to 3.5 squared plus this h plus 0.5 h quantity squared okay so substituting this r here to this that would be yun, substitute lang ito and let Let's use this as our equation one muna. Okay? So, we use these two triangles na. Ito naman, yung last triangle natin. Using this triangle, actually, we can create a relationship here that is just tangent of 8 is equals to opposite over adjacent. Okay? Follow lang. So, I will express H in terms of R. I will cross multiply this whole term here dito okay but i will express r into this okay take note r is 0.5563 of h ayun okay so diretso ko na lang ha now i will 
simplify this that is 3.5 tangent of 8 is for 0.4919 okay and 0.5563 h cosine of 64 multiplied by tangent of h that will be 0.03427 of h okay now as you can see if we will use this as our equation too and we can substitute this value of h here okay substituting equation to, e to equation 1 Yan. copy this 3.5 h and our capital h here is ito okay 0.4919 plus 0 0.0427 of h plus 0.5 of h squared now as you can see the only unknown here is the h which is that is the height of the smoke okay so we can use actually the calculator dito okay we can use the ship sub okay by using our calculator h is 36.23 okay so i will give this to you na lang to kuana to simplify okay we will not do the simplification here na lang okay so um magagamit naman yung mga ship sold natin di ba because of the allowed prc calculator okay so this is the answer here that is the height of the smoke now the um the possible here the possible outcomes of board exam for the future board exam is hahanapin yung height of the mountain so the height of the mountain is h okay so by substituting this h here that will give us the height of the mountain so pwede pa itong lumabas sa future board exam natin sa ce okay so that's it i hope you learned something from this and um, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel please do subscribe and like and share and don't forget to hit the bell icon para ma notify kayo if mag a upload ako ng mga bagong video tutorials okay so also you can com comment down here if what topics do you want me to do or to make as a tutorial video okay so thank you everyone and god bless